So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here and what you see in the back here right now, that is a ciliate, a single-celled microorganism exploding, breaking apart and spilling the cell's contents. And why is it doing that? Is It's because I added some of this disinfectant here, which is a solution of 3% hydrogen peroxide. And this hydrogen peroxide is a pretty effective and uh, quite an aggressive disinfectant because it likes to oxidize many different parts um, of a cell. And uh, when it's done its job, then of course the cell will die. And I found out that uh, it's also able to cause the cell to lice. Lice means to break break open and to spill the contents. Now, maybe you've seen one of my previous videos where I added um, this uh, disinfectant to some paramecia. Um, so this clip here is one where I added this, this disinfectant. Right now I added it and this disinfectant contains alcohol as well. And this alcohol will uh, immediately rip away the cell membrane. It will dissolve the cell membrane and the, cell will, the cells will also pop open. Um, and you can see that the effect is quite fast and quite rapid here. And yeah, there's not much left over of the cells. It's a pretty, <laughs> pretty sad sight actually. But today I want uh, to show you what happens when you add some hydrogen peroxide because also one of my viewers requested that I try out different types of disinfectant and see what their effect is on water microorganisms. And over here, uh, this is again uh, one of those water samples and uh, yeah, those uh, ciliates are still swimming around uh, pretty, pretty normally, I would say. But now look um, at how all of the algae, these are the little green dots, how they start moving downwards. And this is because I added a small drop of this hydrogen peroxide to the microscope slide and uh, the liquid is now being sucked in beneath the, the cover glass and this causes uh, this motion this streaming you know, of the fluid beneath uh, the cover glass. Yeah, and uh, what's going to happen when the hydrogen peroxide then touches uh, those ciliates? I'm also going to show you. Yeah, here is one in close up, okay? Um, the hydrogen peroxide then reaches them and look at this. Huh. There is an oxygen bubble forming. That, by the way, this is in real time, so I did not uh, increase the speed. Now, 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 why is that? Well, um, sometimes these oxygen bubbles, uh, they are able to form uh, because the hydrogen peroxide is broken down to oxygen and water. It is very reactive. And some of the cells, they contain an enzyme called catalase. And this catalase also breaks down the hydrogen peroxide. And sometimes I was able to see that uh, all spon quite spontaneously those oxygen bubbles um, started to form. Now this cell here also got a little bit too much of the hydrogen peroxide and it also starts to break open now and uh, starts to spill out the cell's contents. But the others, well, they are still uh, swimming around and uh, before they die, they start to go in a circle, okay? Um, so they lose control a little bit. So you see that the action of the hydrogen peroxide, at least um, in this case, is not quite as fast um, as when Eddie, um, adding uh, the alcohol um, containing disinfectant. And I think one of the reasons is, is because some cells are able to protect themselves uh, by uh, having the catalase break down, the enzyme catalase break down the hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. So so this is one of the ways how the cells um, deal with the oxidative stress um, that uh, yeah is accompanied by the hydrogen peroxide. So um, I want uh, to show you another clip here. Um, here um, another one in, in close up. Yeah, this is interesting bulge that you see now um, yeah on the surface of the cell. But look at the movement of the cilia, the little hair. Yeah, at the beginning they still move and then they stop moving. And um, yeah, I did not cut the video short. I did not uh, do time lapse here. But look, after a few seconds, the cell will also break open and the cell's contents uh, will spill out um, and the cell then, of course, um, is dead. So you see uh, that, uh, yeah, in both these two cases, hydrogen peroxide and the alcohol containing um, substance, they work um, in, in a similar way. And here now you see the cell break open and the cell's content starts uh, to spill out. And then of course, uh, this is the end of life uh, for, for this cell over here. 
and uh, it might look a little bit drastic here but um, it is really important that um, those microorganisms um, even though they are not harmful something similar happens to bacteria because bacteria also have a cell membrane around them but they are significantly smaller so we're not able to see this process quite as well and certain viruses what they have is, is like, for example, the coronavirus as well. They have a membrane around it and, and uh, this membrane also being made of organic substances, of course, also reacts uh, with the hydrogen peroxide and uh, it becomes oxidized and then also it becomes uh, non-functional. Now, I was also able to see uh, and find uh, another one here. This is again a paramecium and it also starts to spin um, in this uh, strange manner when the hydrogen peroxide disinfectant reaches it. Um, it also did not immediately break apart, but it also changed the behavior a little bit um, as the hydrogen peroxide slowly started to break down the organic substances in, in the cell. Again, a, an oxygen bubble forming relatively spontaneously here. Again, because uh, maybe some of the bacteria that were present in the sample also contain the enzyme catalase that break it down. Yeah, and uh, you also had some of the oxygen bubbles fusing together again. Yeah, here again, two more oxygen bubbles forming, and in between, it's squeezed in between is this paramecium. Yep, and uh, look what happens now. Up, it just managed to escape. Oh, oh no, it didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too late. Um, it starts to spin again, lose control again, and that's again. Uh, the end of it yeah so let's uh, simply watch this a little bit yeah i guess uh, that it's also trying to break down the hydrogen peroxide but uh, the concentration is simply too high it's not able to manage this and then also it will stop moving after a few seconds and uh, that was it uh, for this uh, little uh, microbe here yeah yeah here again yeah they all start to spin um, and then that's it yeah um, a sign that they start to lose control here yeah. So the video starts uh, to loop again. And uh, yeah, and I simply wanted to show this to you um, to show you the effect of uh, different uh, different substances um, on uh, on the activity of cells. And um, of course, uh, in the future, I will test out other substances as well. For example, soap uh, uh, also has a highly effective way of removing microorganisms by dissolving the cell membrane. So we're going to see whether alcohol is also able to cause the cells to break open. And I've also experimented around with highly concentrated salt solution as well, where the effect is that the cells start to lose water quite a bit. Also something that you can observe quite nicely under the microscope. But you see, these are videos that I'll show you in the future. So if you do not want to miss out on them, I recommend that you maybe want to click the subscribe button well <laughs> in any case uh, i wish you all the best i hope that you liked the video and uh, see you around uh, next time and uh, bye bye